Aloha everyone. As you can see from my background, I'm not at home right now. I'm in Hawaii staring at the most beautiful marina and honestly you guys, Oahu is just stunning and so beautiful and we're having such a fun time. This is just such a relaxed vacation that I didn't even know I needed until being here and I'm so blessed to be here. Like truly, I just feel so blessed to be here with my family. Um, but anyway, I wanted to do a quick get ready with me, show you guys how I like to get ready on vacation, which products I like to use, um, and also show you how I transition the same look and take it from like daytime into nighttime with just adding a few steps, along with the hair, the outfit, everything, as well as some amazing Hawaiian adventures. Because today we're gonna be doing something very exciting and I'm gonna, of course, vlog the entire thing, share it in this video. Um, but before I do that, I do wanna quickly talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Carez. And I'm really liking Carez products right now. You guys are gonna see me talk more about Carez as a whole, because I'm testing out a lot of their different products and I'm really loving the brand, especially this facial mist right here. This is called the Hydrating Facial Mist H2 Rose. I get it, H2O, but H2 Rose. And this product is amazing. It just adds like a burst of hydration on your skin and just like instantly refreshes you. So love this. I'm gonna show you guys how I like to use it in the morning, after I've had my makeup, throughout the day, all that good stuff. And I'm also really excited because Carez and I are gonna be giving a bundle of Carez goodies. I'm gonna pop a picture of everything I'm giving away right over here to one lucky winner. And if you wanna find out how to win, check the description box below. All the details will be there. But anyway, now let's move on to how I got this look, this hair, this outfit, everything. Okay, so it's super early in the morning. I just came out of the shower. This is what my skin looks like right now. I'm kind of waking out a little bit over here, but to be honest with you, anytime I travel, I almost always break out, so that's very normal for me. Anyway, I do want to show you guys the first way I like to use the H2 Rose Facial Mist, and that is first thing in the morning. This just like instantly wakes you up. It's the scent and you just feel refreshed and ready to go. It also does work as a toner, so you can just go ahead and apply your skincare right after this, which is amazing. Okay, hair is up, skincare is done. Now let's go ahead and work on the makeup. Personally for me, on vacation, it is all about my base. I'm not really like too worried about doing too much with the eyes or the lips. I really just care about having a good base and I wanna show you guys the products that I've been using. For my foundation, I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiant Perfecting Foundation in the shade Sun Tan. Now I just wanna say that I do have a tan and this foundation is a little too light for me. But when I blend it all out, it does match me really well, even though it is just a little too light for me because the foundation itself has a very like natural finish. You guys will see, like you can totally see my skin right through it, but it just like blurs everything out and just like perfects the skin, especially like on vacation. I don't want anything to look too heavy or too much. So I'm really liking this foundation. I do have my Milk Concealer, which I've used in the past many times before. This one right here, but I find that it's actually a little too light for me right now with my tan. So I kind of like just want to skip concealer today. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I just skip it? I just decided to add a little bit of concealer because I am filming a YouTube video and I want you guys to, you know, see my full face. So this concealer is going directly underneath my eyes. And again, if you're like my normal skin tone without a tan, which is an NC42, this is a fabulous color and works beautifully. Now to set everything in place, we're gonna be using the Hourglass Loose Powder. I'm not taking too much powder at all. I'm just taking like that much. And of course, you guys already know, most of the powder goes underneath the eyes because normally that's where creasing happens. Like if I go like this, my concealer is going to crease. So to make sure that that doesn't happen throughout the day, especially because I'm in Hawaii right now, it's really nice and warm. Um, I just want my base to be locked and stay put all day. Now it is time for contour, blush, highlight, and I have one palette that I've just been using and I love to travel with this palette. I've talked about it before, I love it. Highly recommended, I just don't know if it's available, 
but if it's not, I'm going to link something similar in the description box below. And this is from NARS. First of all, the packaging is so pretty. By the way, you guys, ignore my voice. I don't know what's going on. I woke up this morning, like I couldn't even talk. So I don't know why my voice sounds so raspy, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and use this palette. The packaging is so stunning, and I think that this was part of the holiday collection. Again, if they don't have this specific palette anymore, I'm gonna link something similar, but the colors in this palette are just perfection for my skin. So right now I'm using the Laguna bronzer which is one of my favorite bronzers of all time for my skin and just applying this on the sides of my face to add some color to my skin, some shape to my face. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the Orgasm blush which you guys know I love this blush. I've talked about this for so long. This is such a good blush for my skin and just apply this on the apples of my cheeks. And that's just going to add a little color to my face. And then, of course, we're going to go ahead and add a highlight. Now, I do actually have, like, a, another highlight with me, but I'm just going to go ahead and use the Orgasm Highlight because this is actually beautiful as well. So I'm applying this on the high points of my face, also underneath my brows. So you're, like, highlighting this entire portion with one or a few swipes. And then... The same thing on the other side. Before I move on to the eyes, I am going to use the H2 Rose Facial Mist and just use it all over my face to set my makeup in place. And you guys will see, as it's drying, it's actually going to add a very stunning glow to my skin and set my makeup in place. Now, the glow is not greasy. It's just like a subtle glow, which I love, especially because I have such dry skin. Okay, now let's move on to the eyes, and I'm going to go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Eyeshadow Primer and just apply this all over my eyelids to make sure that any eyeshadow that I use lasts all day long and doesn't crease or move throughout the day. And while that's setting in place, because I don't just like to go ahead and apply eyeshadow right on top of it, I'm going to go ahead and work on my brows, and I'm using the Bobbi Brown Perfectly Defined Longwear Brow Pencil in the shade Mahogany. And we're just going to go ahead and fill in my brows with this. Now, speaking of brows, you guys, I kind of feel like I want to do microblading on my brows. This part of my brow, you can see like the sparse areas. I kind of just want to try microblading to see how well it would work to specifically just fill in the front of my brow. I don't know. Have you guys tried it? Any thoughts, your experience, please let me know in the comment section below. Okay, I just want to share one of my other favorite products right now, and it is the Dior Lip Glow in the shade 001, and I've just been wearing this during the day, every day. Not only does it hydrate your lips, but it leaves like the perfect like pink tint to my lips. I love it. Um, so I've just been using that during the day, skipping lipstick all together, and of course I'm going to show you guys the eyes. But I really like that color. Thought I would quickly share it. But anyway, now let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. And for my eyes, I've been using this new palette. It's called Skin Deep. And it is just like a collection of neutral shades. My two favorite shades in the palette are these two right here. And I'm going to link similar ones from other brands as well in the description box below. The one that I can instantly think of every time I apply it is Woodwinked from MAC. That's actually even brighter and stunning on my skin tone. Like anyone with my skin tone, that is such a good eyeshadow shade. Um, but I've just been using these two shades in combination with one another, applying it all over my eyes like this, and then doing a lot of mascara, and that's like my go-to daytime look. It's just so easy and quick and like gives you like a fresh face. So this is kind of like my daytime glam on vacation with loads of mascara, no eyeliner whatsoever. But now I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this look out and show you guys how I would take this look into nighttime. So I'm using the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. You guys know I love this. And I'm gonna just go ahead and take these two shades right here in combination with one another and bring it all over my lid like so. We're not doing like too much of a smoky eye, but I am smoking this look out still because of course for nighttime I do want like a little bit more than what I'm wearing in the day. So that's it for the eyeshadow for now. I'm now going in with the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in the shade Brownie and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this in my waterline like so. 
And then I'm also just gonna take the same eyeliner and go right on top of my actual eyelid as close to my lash line as possible and just apply it like that, like very messy. And then I'm gonna take a small smudger brush like this and just smudge it out and create like a smoky liner without actually using a liner. So my camera was not recording, but I already applied mascara on this side and I just wanna actually show you guys the difference from like before and after. And of course, I am using my favorite mascara ever. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I'm in paradise, I had to use it. I love this mascara. And to be honest with you, I actually did bring like two pairs of falsies with me, but I haven't even worn them once. I feel like I don't need to. And I kind of just like like my natural lashes look on vacation. So I'm just living for the extra mascara, big lashes, natural lashes look right now. Now it's time for lipstick and I freaking broke this lipstick as well. I broke this a while back but the color is just so pretty that I have to just still talk about it. It's from Estee Lauder. I'm so sad I broke it you guys but I don't care. And it's such a pretty like corally pinky shade and it adds like color to your lips but it's not intense by any means so it's very very wearable and I feel like it's just such a good lipstick for every day or when you're on vacation you guys tell me this is not the most perfect corally shade for my skin it is so stunning I love it I'm just so sad I broke it but anyway now I'm gonna quickly just set my face one more time with the H2 uh, facial mist to just make sure that my makeup stays put all day and I want that glowy finish to my skin one more time. All right, now let's talk about this hair because it is a mess. It's so tangled, oh my God. I did bring the Dyson Airwrap with me, but I haven't even used it once since being here. This is what my hair looks like naturally when I just brush it out. Um, it is a little bit dry right now on the ends because I haven't been putting any oils in my hair, which is why I love, love, love using oils in my hair. I'm so mad that I forgot to bring my oil, but anyway, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly use a dry shampoo first. I'm using the Orbe dry shampoo. You can see it's completely clear, doesn't leave a white cast, but I feel like it does a great job at refreshing your hair. And then to add volume, because right now you guys can see my hair right here is looking very flat. I like to use this product that I'm so impressed by. Again, from Orbe, it's called Swept Up Volumize, no, Volume Powder Spray. And it's so cool. So ignore my white hairs, they're everywhere. But you kind of just like part your hair and you spray it like that. Part it again, spray. Part it again, spray. You just want to focus this on your roots and then you just kind of like massage this in your hair like this. And you can see it adds so much volume in your hair and then you just go ahead and style your hair as you normally would. So really like this product, it works so well. I'm gonna link below as well as everything else. Okay, so this is my outfit for today, super casual, but um, I am wearing this bodysuit, jean shorts. I have my sneakers, but they're in the car, so I'm just gonna pop on some sandals and put on my sneakers later on. But this is a look, it's so easy, so simple, but like perfect for Hawaii. Now, let's go get the day started. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll see you guys soon. You guys, this is beyond unreal. Check this out behind me. I mean, what? The ocean is right there, and it is just the most unreal 
place ever. I'm like in awe. Going down is no joke. Hey. Oh my god, this is such a bucky ride. Oh. Oh. Oh.